Okay, hope everybody's enjoying uh, the day. Monday was very difficult for me, but I'm just taking a break here and doing a quick little uh, movie pack review. And um, this is something I picked up at Dollar Tree. If anybody knows when the next Dollar Tree movie haul is or if they've had one and I missed it, um, my Dollar Tree has a ton of DVDs from the previous haul. What There was a lot of repeats and people are just not buying them. Uh, but this is from one of the uh, few hauls, two or three hauls ago. And I finally got into this. This is one of those um, Echo Bridge Entertainments. Echo Bridge Entertainment Corporation, Acquisition Corporation, LLC. And um, this, I think, had a Walmart tag on it for probably like five or six dollars. I just don't remember what the Walmart tag was. In. But it says Gene Bell or Jeannie Bell. TNT Jackson includes seven bonus movies. And this is on two discs. One of them is still in the DVD player. That's what the first disc looks like. With TNT Jackson, Lady Coco, Velvet Smooth, and South Bronx Heroes. Um, so they're promoting TNT Jackson. TNT Jackson is one of those 70s movies, you know, when you watch it. It looks like that they took the film, um, played it, you know, a thousand times, dropped it on the floor, uh, threw a few scratches onto it, stuck it in the dirtiest machines they could, and let it sit for a while, and then put it on a, a VCR, low-quality VCR tape, and then what they did was they transferred it to a DVD of some kind. Um, so it wasn't a very good quality. I think it was the shortest movie on the whole uh, pack here, if I'm not mistaken. And why they're promoting that one is beyond me. But what... Echo Bridge Acquisition likes to do is they like to take and mix up their films that they had for a while. Some of the ones that probably don't sell very well. Throw them in different combo packs. So that was the first one I watched. I think the second one I watched was The Final Come Down. Um, another 70's movie. Uh, Velvet Smooth, Lady Coco was on there. And South Bronx Heroes. And the thing about a lot of these movies that they had players like Gene Washington, Mean Joe Green, another one had another football player, and I can't think of his name right now, but um, it was not, and Fred Williamson was not in any of these movies, so that's kind of interesting. I, at least I didn't see him in any of these movies. But a very unusual set because you've got uh, Lady Coco, Velvet Smooth, and The Final Come Down. They're like all 70s, um, 70s style movies, you know, with lots of. Uh, 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 unheard of actors, you know, and a lot of karate in those movies. There's a lot of karate, and the karate was a very uh, slowed down and very orchestrated, wasn't very good. Uh, but South Bronx Heroes is a very strange, strange movie with Mario Van Peebles. That's an 80s movie. It doesn't fit the bill of these. I mean, it was a violent movie, kind of, um, as all of these were. And they're all rated R, all four of these, including TNT Jackson. And South Bronx Heroes was just a really kind of, um, I want to say it was creepy, but it was just dealing with um, children, child abuse. So that was not good. P children fleeing ch child abuse and Mario Van Peebles comes to the rescue even though he doesn't want to, essentially, basically how that is. But that's a mid-1980s movie. I wanted to say 1983, 84. Not really sure. I can't remember when that was uh, listed when that came out. Uh, disc number two, which I said is, is still on the DVD player. Um, it comes with Once a Thief, uh, Once a Thief Brother Against Brother, and Once a Thief Family Business. Those are all John Woo films. Now what's interesting about that is I could swear that they were made for TV. The first one I watched, Once a Thief, had uh, Ian, Ivan Sergei, Nicholas Lee, Sandrin Holt, uh, Michael Wong, Jennifer Dale, and David Wu. Jennifer Dale, sorry. And I practically fell asleep. I had to fast forward through some of the scenes on that movie. I want to say it's made for TV because it, um, the first thing it shows up, it says in stereo Dolby surround or whatever, which is kind of interesting. I think this came out in 1996. So you've got all these 70s and early 80s movies there, and then you've got all these 90s movies here. Uh, of course, this was filmed in Canada. Uh, I don't want to say of course, but it was filmed in Canada. Uh, for whatever that means. So a lot of these actors are Canadian, not not Ivan Sergei. At least I don't think he was. But anyway, so it was okay. But like I said, and 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 an interesting thing is, as I said, rated R for violence. It just basically looked like you know um, any kind of you know Miami Vice type show. You know where. Uh, 
Um, but not as good, obviously. But the action scenes were pretty good in a few few segments where the motorcycle landed on the car and a few other. Uh, but it's really dumb, you know, when, when a guy goes th crashing through a window. Normally, when you go crashing through a window, um, I mean, the momentum on some of these things, you would have to have crazy... The physics involved in some of these stunts did not make any sense to where they would have actually worked. You know, some of the gymnastics involved. I know these windows in, like, these big, large buildings, if you ran with all your might and tried to go through the window, um, the window would win. You don't always beat the window, you know. And then if you ever go crashing through a window of some kind, you would have so many blood marks on you, you would not even, you just couldn't even survive a window fall. You just couldn't. But the guy went through the window, and even if you did go through the window, you wouldn't land on your feet. You would actually land, you know, in a pile, um, and then have to kind of gather yourself. Because I know, I mean, I've, I've heard people, you know, run into windows. There's very few people that break windows. If you watch the window video on YouTube where people run through windows, um, it puts all these window stunts um, uh, to the test. Um, so anyway, but then they got once a th again, once a thief brother against brother. I have not watched that one, and once a thief family business. So I have a feeling that the same actors in those, and I believe that that this be eventually became a TV show out of Canada. Um, once a thief or whatever this um, became a TV short lived television series. So really, I would say avoid this. Um, the 70s movies were quite different and interesting, but the quality was super bad. The best one out of all of these was probably Lady Coco. Uh, Velvet Smooth was not very good. It was okay, but I think Velvet Smooth had a very hilarious moment. There was a cop that walked by, and and he said something crazy. I think it was a, um, a Telly Savalas a Kojak lookalike, I think is what it was supposed to be. Um, South Bronx Heroes, I will say the only interesting thing about that movie was all the buildings that were being demolished in the Bronx. So that was kind of cool to see all the b abandoned buildings and trying to figure out you know where that was in, in uh, New York. That was kind of cool. But other than that, this was basically a pass. And I'm going to be donating to this library because I donate uh, brand new or like movies to the library and they take all of them. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, no mail yet. And thank you for watching.